How is it possible that the banks can legally take money from you through what's called refinancing and no one knows about it? Well, today that's exactly what I'm going to share with you all. So stick around. Welcome everyone to Real Estate Talk. Uh, my name is Zach. Um, on this channel, we, I'm trying to make real estate easy for absolutely everyone, including you. So today I thought I would share something uh, with you all, something that was taught by me, by my real estate mentor a couple of years ago. It kind of blew my mind when I learned about it, when I heard even this concept, um, but it really blew my mind and hopefully I can do the same thing for you all. So you see, refinancing is a way that a bank can offer you either a lower interest rate, a lower monthly payment, maybe a combination of the two. Um, and essentially that is supposed to help you, right? It's supposed to be a tool that we as a consumer can take advantage of that helps us save money every month. But you have to ask yourself one very important question. Why would a bank, a trillion dollar industry, billion dollar companies, want to help us out and get nothing in return. What's the catch? There has to be a catch, right? Well, there is. So basically, when you get a lower interest rate or they restructure your loan to give you lower monthly payments, what they're basically doing is they're starting your loan completely over. So usually most of us are going to get a 30 year loan. Uh, investment properties are a little different. Sometimes they're 10 or 15. Um, but mainly we as a consumer, residential properties, primary homes, we're going to get 30 year loans. That's the most typical common loans that are out there. So if you bought your house, let's say in 2013, right? And in 2023, which is the year we're in today, you've been paying on your house for 10 years. If you go to refinance your house or house or try to restructure your loan, they're essentially going to start you all the way over, almost as if those first 10 years did not count. They counted, but they don't count. But how is the bank taking money from you? Like I said in the beginning of the video, well, what happens in a mortgage is the first seven to 10 years, maybe more, maybe a little less, but usually the first seven to 10 years is a majority of your money that you are paying every month. That normally goes to what we call pity or your principal interest taxes and insurance. But the majority of that is going to your principal and interest. If you look at the breakdown, they give you this big old stack of paperwork. It shows you all of your payments. If you look at it, a majority of your payment is actually going right to the bank as interest. They usually collect their money up front first, you know, 10, 15 years. They want to collect a majority of their interest. That way they don't get burned. So what banks do is after the first seven to 10 years, they'll start reaching out to you. You might get a call. You might get an email. You might get a letter. Who knows? You might get a loan officer starting to reach out to you talking, hey, we can refinance your loan. We can save you uh, more money. We can save you a couple hundred dollars a month. But what they are doing is, and most loan officers don't actually know that this is happening. They're just going along with the flow. They're restarting your loan. So the first eight, nine, 10 years that you've paid on your house is actually going down the drain because your loan is now starting all the way over. Sure, it's going to start over with your current balance owed, but now since your loan has restarted, the bank is going to get a lot more interest up front taking money from you. So let's say the bank says, you know what, we're going to save you a couple hundred dollars a month. It sounds good, but if you really look at the amortization schedule, which is the paperwork that they give you, I talked about earlier, and you really look at it and you see how much money uh, is going towards principal and interest. You add up the total balance of the loan. You look at how much you're going to be paying overall. If you look at how much you paid in the first 10 years, and now you look at how much you're going to be paying in the next 30 years because they started your loan over, you'll see saving a couple hundred bucks a month is nothing in comparison to the tens of thousands of dollars extra that you'll be paying over the course of that loan. Do not let the banks fool you. Check their numbers first. Look at the paperwork. Don't get fooled. They could not be saving you money without getting something in return. It just does not make sense. Now, I know there's going to be some of you out there who are thinking, well, what if I go from a super high interest rate to a super low interest rate? Well, in that case, which actually does not happen very often, 
you will be saving some money over the course of that loan. But you need a drastic change in your interest rate to make that happen. I'm talking from seven and seven and a half percent down to like four percent. Then you probably will save money. But how often do interest rates drop to two and three percent? That just happened during the course of the pandemic, but that does not happen very often. So hopefully you all have learned something. Hopefully I have uh, sparked something in you to start thinking, hey, is the bank really saving me more money? You have to think about it. The bank is a business. The bank is in it to just make money. That's their whole goal, right? If you own a business, you know this. That's the whole goal of a business, right? Is to make money. So they have to come up with creative ways to make more money off of you. But if you're not informed, if you don't know and you're not careful, you won't know that they're actually taking more money from you and they don't need it. They don't need more money. They have trillions of dollars. You need as the consumer to know how to save money and to not be burned. So I'd like to hear from you all down in the comments. If you've done a refinance on your house, what were the terms? You don't have to give any details, but did you know that this was happening to you? Uh, if you haven't gotten a refinance and you're thinking about it, uh, maybe put it down in the comments. What are the new terms going to be? Have you double checked? Are you going to be saving money? So let me know down in the comments what you all think about this. So if you enjoyed this, uh, please take the time to subscri subscribe to the channel. Uh, definitely like this video. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. Uh, if you want some more tips uh, on buying and selling real estate, you can click right here.